going on, on YouTube today we're gonna give y'all a little how-to little how-to video on how to take stitches out yeah so we're gonna let y'all know you know quick video about how to take these pup stitches out after the ear crops you know, most likely you want to wait until it's about so it's looking dry it's almost scabbing up but you don't want to scab up all the way because then it's going to scab up over the stitch but you know like this is perfect oh yeah. i'm going to check those out those look good you know so most likely well i don't know how everybody stitch man do our stitch man is perfect we got the best stitch man in the <laughs> land you shout know out shout out my man's <laughs> And then, you know, so, but how our guy do, he do two knots, a knot at the top and a knot at the bottom. And then, you know, you just hit the ones in between and you will see them come right on out. All right, we're well, going to get started on this. You know, y'all just go on and check it out. Mm -hmm. And see, with them, theirs was real easy to take out because when you get close to touching their ears, you know, they still like, hey, you know, we ain't used to nobody messing with us while our ears here to look. But these puppies right here, they have been running around the house, doing everything, so <laughs> this don't bother them. So they still want to get up and move while we messing with their ears right now. Mm -hmm. Hellshark Orca. We just finished Hellshark Giant Squid. The boys down there cooling right now. <laughs> All right, so we got Orca up next. I'm going to get him. Going to get him done. See this some of the scab, you know. You just take away at that. It's right over top of the stitch. Then once you get up under that, just like that, you're good to go. And then like I say, you know, once you know your stitch man, you're gonna pretty much know where his stitch is like to be at. But you should see an indent in the ear. Yeah, it'll be good.
this one was to come nice, that little stitch right here. So you get a little resistance, it's cool. But you get more resistance than you already know. Still a little stitch in here. Boom. Got it. And that is nice and done. stitch down on that side so y'all can see y'all can see all the indents in it not at the top not at the bottom Queen of the Hell Sharks. All right, y'all. We don't finish crop. I mean, not cropping, but taking the stitches out of everybody is. We want to give y'all a little view of everybody real quick. Come here. Come check. Let the folks see y'all ears. So you know, you know, we got a nice, good ear, man. Nice, clean cut. You know, stitched us up real nice. We waited. We waited about a week. Till we take them out, it all depends on, you know, the dog, uh, how big they are, you know, what type of ears they have. There's a lot of factors that go into when you do need to take your stitches out. Some people say three days after the crop. Some people say five. Some people say 10, you know. It's all about what works best for you. Oh, Sean, what we use? Uh, all right, so, you know, just use a nice little suture removal kit. Probably can get it from CVS, you know. Then, you know, definitely heal it up. Get your nails pouring, whatever works for you, you know. Get your nails pouring, whatever. <laughs> get it, stick it on them ears, man. They good to go. What's up, what's up, what's up, what's up? Let's see, let me see your fade, man. People want to see your fade. She wanna see your face. Take it off. Big boy. I'm gonna jump down. Come on. 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 Come
Yeah, go pee. Go. Go and pee. Come on. Come on. Or you too. You come on out here too. Trying to lay down. I was like, nah, I'm straight, bro. Come on, let's go in. <laughs> come on, guys. You definitely gonna come down. Waiting on your sister. See the body on these pups? Look at the body. Oh, caught you slipping. What's up, LT? What's up, boy? What's up, boy? I don't think y'all done out here yet. 